What was the journey from 1990, when you arrived back in Hollywood, um, to the point where you actually got an entourage, which must have been 2003, 2004? I was cast at the end of 2004 and started, started working at the beginning of 2005. Okay. So what, was, what, what happened during those intervening 15 years? Can you talk oh, about God, that? a lot. Um, the, I mean, I don't know. The first thing you should know is I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> And the second thing you should know is that I'm, I'm really not by nature an aggressive person. Maybe the polite way of saying that is assertive. I'm neither of those things. I, I, I really wanted to, I wanted to go to Schwab's and be at the soda fountain counter and be discovered like Lana Turner. I wanted someone to come to me and say, you're a star, come be a star. And that didn't happen. Um, so that's the first thing you should know. Um, but here's the thing, I, I don't know if you all noticed, but I am of Asian descent. So I, uh, <laughs> so I, I half jokingly said to myself, I'm going to give myself a deadline to make this acting thing happen. I'm going to give myself to when I'm 80. <laughs> and, and the reason for that was I thought, I really need to give myself a shot at those sage, old, wise, Asian mystical roles. So I, so I said, I better make it by the time I'm 80, then I'll stop trying to be an actor and, and get a job, I guess. Um, and I say half jokingly, but the other half was not joking. I really thought, I don't care how long this takes, I want this. Um, and that's important, I think. Okay, well, it turns out that um, if I am friends with you or I have a personal relationship with you, but then if I decide I don't like you, then I have a bad reaction. I, so anyway, I was in, I, there's this, there, the, the reason I mention that is there's this guy that I hate, who I despise, and he used to be my roommate um, at the, you know, when I got this job, and so I was in the passenger seat of his car when I found out, and you know, he knew I was up for the role, and we high-fived a lot, and, and now I hate him. <laughs> He's evil. Really? Yeah, when he moved, I can't believe I'm telling you this story. When, I, when, when he moved out of the apartment, like he, he went around and he like took CDs out of the cover and DVDs out of the cover and threw them off the balcony, like into the yard next door. So, I mean, I literally have like covers of DVDs like on my shelf, and anytime I see like Punch Drunk Love, I, I think, oh, there's no, there's no DVD in there, you know? <laughs> he, threw out, he threw out four CDs. One was um. One was like a Billy Holiday CD, and one was... Um, anyway, he was evil. So there was that, and then he, the people that he invited to come move him out, like, he, he said, go into the refrigerator, eat whatever you want, even though it was all my food, because, you know, he's moving out. And then he was like, oh, and if you don't want to finish that salami, just throw it on the carpet. So I like, came home, and there was just food and drink, like, all over the place, like, ground into the carpet. Um, is he an actor too? No. Oh, I thought it was maybe professional journalist. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what he does now. I think he's trying to be a DJ. Um, <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. I hope it's because you could hear the animosity. <laughs> <laughs> much I still despise him to this day. I hold on to 